Right. When you first stepped into a gym after being released from prison, you know, what was the first weight station? What was the first exercise that you wanted to do and why? I wanted to do some kind of explosive type things like power lifting and squats just because while I was locked up, I was able to do a lot of push-ups and body weight things, but I just wanted to see where my leg strength was at at that time and, and I was kind of just ready to throw some weight around really, you know, just sick of the body weight whole presence of that. but really get under the squat bar and see where my leg strength was at and power clean, see how explosive I became or just to measure out where I need to be at at the time. All right, you know, being incarcerated for eight months and unable to do a lot of your normal workouts, you know, what has been the, the biggest challenge you've faced into getting back into football shape? Uh, really, it's been the strength part about it, you know, because you do a lot of body weight, like I said, the body weight push-ups and body weight things like that. You get endurance, but it's something about putting that weight up that's a whole it's a whole nother ball game then and uh my first couple of days out there with the weight i mean i was fatiguing my arms were fatigued my legs were fatigued i couldn't manage you know but mm -hmm. since i've been doing the weight training and, and everything like that i got stronger than i was last may but faster you know it just came back real quick so you know it shows muscle memory but mm -hmm. now the part i'm focusing on now is kind of getting in that football shape i got my strength back now it's time to work on my agility, my hip movements, you know, position type drills so that I'll be able to move the way I need to move when the time comes. So that's probably one of the things I'm working on now. You know, without regular access to weights when you're, whenever you were in prison, you know, what kinds of workouts were you able to do? Um, and what would you say was the most creative workout? Uh, most creative workouts was we would fill a water bucket full of water and uh, we would use that to curl with. We'll do curls with that and our water bags full of trash bags full of waters. Uh -huh. Curl with the water bags. Uh, we'll do burpees, um, pull-ups on the, uh, we'll get the towel put on the uh, little vents on the ceiling and do pull-ups on that and dips on the shower. I mean, <laughs> dips on the edge of the bunks. I mean, you know, uh, you really try to use whatever you can use. You know, uh, you got some guys in there who's like, who's been, they've been doing 10 years and, and they know all kinds <laughs> of workouts for, you know, so uh, you tell them to play football, they be eager to try to work you out and get you right, so. But those are probably the weirdest ones, the water bucket and the, and the dips on the toilets and stuff like that. I've been to six different units just this last week. I mean, uh, getting up at 1 o'clock in the morning, staying in the cage till 5, 6 in the morning, being on the bus from 7, getting there, eating peanut butter sandwiches for two, I mean, eating four peanut butter sandwiches a day, only one hot meal, uh, no wreck, no TV in some dorms. Just, it's been hectic, man. You know, the, the Bengals stood with, you know, stood with you, you know, throughout the whole thing. You know, how is their commitment way back when driven your workouts, especially now? It's a, uh, it makes you feel like you're not doing it for no reason. You know, uh, it gives you a hope, you know, a light at the end of the tunnel that it's something to prepare for. You know, I'm not just working out now just for, to play football or anything like that. I'm working out now to prove to them that, you know, I wasn't a waste of, you know, opportunity or a waste of talent or anything like that, that. I, I feel in my heart that, you know, I really owe this organization everything I have. So in my eyes, when I work out, it's to show them that, you know, they made the right decision to stick by me. You know, I'm not going to let them down and uh, I'm going to do my best to, you know, help the team out in any possible way that I can. So it's it's kind of like a a mental, you know, just a driving force in me to know that they stuck by me. So that's, that's what keeping me going. I noticed the other day in your workout group that there were a couple of you know high school mm -hmm. kids in your group. There were a couple of middle school kids in your group. Mm -hmm. You know, what are you, you know, what kinds of things do you talk to them about? You know, mm -hmm. about your experience or about just what to expect of the next mm -hmm. level. And, you know, what do you talk to those kids about when you get the chance? First, I tell them, man, you know, they're lucky. They are, you know, <laughs> they're blessed to even have this when they're growing up. You know, when I was growing up, like it wasn't that long ago, but <laughs> 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 but you know, all we did we went outside and played. You know football, sock the fox, throw the ball in the air, catch it and run, you know, uh, mm -hmm. we didn't really have no trainers or, you know, groups and things like they have right there, so to do that, that's already a, a step in the game that they already have above all, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. I tell them just to take these drills serious, you know, when they're working on their 40s and their pro agility, because those are money drills, you know, uh, mm -hmm. those are things that look good and this at the combine and, you know, when you're going to college or when you are going to the NFL that the teams really look at a lot and, um, uh, just to focus and soak up as much as they can because at the level there's going to be guys that are going to be just as strong, just as fast and everything like that. But it really comes down to who wants it more, you know, the passion you have for it, the drive, and, and you know, are you a football player or not? Because they're going to measure all the tangibles, but it's the untangible things that they need to work on, you know. And uh, 
I see these guys out there and they're young and a lot of them got some heart, you know, and they, a lot of them got some talent too. And uh, mm -hmm. I just wish the best for those guys, man. They're gonna be some, they're gonna be some ball players. <laughs>